Yes, ma'am. Uh, the question is, uh, you, we've read the books, we've come to the farm, what if we still feel like we need one of your apprentices to come and tell us how to do it? Um, I wish you could see the stack of requests I have for that. I mean, it's just, it's just hundreds, thousands. Um, and and um, so my answer to that, so, so the short answer is we don't have enough to go around. And the really good ones, we try to keep them here. <laughs> um, so the long, so so I think I think the the real answer for that is just to start. I want to tell you something to liberate you. We've all heard and to empower you. We've all heard the saying that uh, Grandma always said. You know, if it's worth doing, you know, you've heard her stand over. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Right? You ever heard that? You know what? Grandma was wrong. You know what the truth is? If it's worth doing, it's worth doing poorly first. Nobody does it right the first time. I mean, can you imagine going to a family party at Thanksgiving and here, you know, here's the, the new the new little the new little toddler, you know, the new baby that everybody, you know, has been born and she and and, and uh, you know, there's little Jane, you know, and she's walking, you know, in her diapers and she's crawling around on the floor. And for some reason, she picks today for the first time to, to come up here, you know, and, and climb up on a chair and, and, and you know, kind of st sit there. And she's got this terrorized look on her face. And suddenly, all the family members, your aunts and uncles and grandma, are, oh, look at Jane. And she suddenly realizes she's the object of attention. She, ah, you know, she gets this. And all of a sudden, she loses her grip, you know, and falls plump back on her diaper. And everybody comes around her and says, well, Jane, if you can't walk any better than that, just quit. <laughs> What do we say? Oh, did you see that? She, she stood up. She said, ah, I've been going crazy. Bring out the ice cream and the cake. You know, <laughs> Jean's growing up. <laughs> right? But as we become adults, this, 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 if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right, comes back to haunt us, and we and we become stigmatized. Some of us have grown up in homes. You know, one of the, one of the blessings of my life was that, that Dad, who was a carpenter to perfection and could make grandfather clocks and furniture and, and, and all this stuff, was a, was a pattern maker at Delco Remy, made carburetor patterns out of wood to pour, okay? He never complained about my 87 degree angles. <laughs> He never complained about my bent over nails. I run into people that are in midlife, 50s and 60s, every day around this country that are still scared to innovate because if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. What if I don't do it right? 